If you are one of the thousands of Canadians working from home, good morning to you. Thanks for watching your morning. Uh, that transition, however, might still be a work in progress for you. So we've heard the tips about don't work from your bed and the importance of setting a schedule. But what about a technology standpoint? What is it that you need? Our tech expert, Avery Swartz, has been working from home for more than a decade. She's joining us from her home office with some tech <laughs> tips. Good morning to you, Avery. Good morning. One of the fun parts about doing everybody via Skype or FaceTime is just getting to see a look into their personal lives and what their home offices look like. <laughs> Welcome uh, to my home office. I can't wait to see you around. All right, let's start with the one thing that everybody can't live without, and that is a good Wi-Fi connection. You recommend setting yeah. up a mesh Wi-Fi network. What is that? Yeah, so, you know, Internet, the most important thing in our lives right now um, is staying connected through the web. And so, you know, the Internet comes into your house from your Internet service provider, and then it comes into your router, which is the device um, that, that connects, sorry, comes to your modem first, and then your router. And your router is the device that sends the Internet signal throughout your whole home. Now, if you have dead zones or areas of the home where the internet isn't as strong, then I recommend you might need to get a mesh router or it's also called whole home Wi-Fi uh, or a mesh system, mesh Wi-Fi system. Basically, the idea is the internet comes in through the router, which you can kind of think of almost like a radio signal. It sends it throughout the house. And then you have these things that we call either access points or nodes is another technical term. And you put them in areas around your house where you need a little bit of a boost. So my home office is in the second floor of my house and I need a bit of a boost. So I have um, personally, I have the Google mesh Wi-Fi system called the, the Google Home Wi-Fi. Um, but there's a whole bunch of different ones on the market. If you're if you think you might need it, go out and get a mesh network system to give you some boost in those dead zones. All right. So we have the technical support. But next up, of course, is an actual computer. As you're talking to us, can you show us what you mean? <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, in, in my home office, I have a, a setup where I've got my laptop. I also have a big desktop computer. But you know, even especially if you're if you're new to this and you want to go with your you know your laptop, I recommend maybe making it a little bit more ergonomic by say putting it on a stand so it's at you know um, proper uh, height for your eyes. Also, you might want to consider using an external uh, Bluetooth keyboard or mouse to connect to the laptop. Makes it a little bit more comfortable for kind of long working sessions. Anything to kind of set yourself up. You know, if, if you can get an external monitor, that can also be really helpful. And that's kind of what I've got set up in my home office. I've got, uh, you know, a few different screens going for, for ultimate productivity. Uh, conference calls, video calls are becoming the norm, which we need to make those successful. Yeah. So, you know, at first, this week especially, everybody is just figuring this out for the first time. So a lot of us are just using the built-in camera inside our devices, and we might just be using the built-in microphone and speakers. But to make it a little bit um, easier on you and also easier on your colleagues so that they can hear you clearly, you may want to consider getting uh, headphones. So either the headphones that you use every day or maybe even a special headset for video conferencing. Also, uh, you can also buy a third party um, webcam. So, you know, maybe you want to set up and use a web camera that might not be the one that's built into your device. You can use a webcam, set it up in a few different areas, really, really get yourself kind of settled in. Um, can you recommend anything for keeping your dog quiet? <laughs> um, right now, my dog is in a di another room with the door closed, and I'm just praying that she doesn't bark. <laughs> um, Avery, this is just something extra, but, you know, we are doing a lot of interviews, like with yourself, um, via FaceTime. What are some of the extras people can buy, like lights or a little tripod if you're using your phone instead of a computer? Absolutely. So you definitely want to be able to just prop things up. And, and this doesn't have to be super fancy. I mean, I use an iPhone stand that I bought for a dollar at Ikea. Um, you know, you can also just prop things up on, on books and, and different stuff. The idea is that you want to keep your video still. You don't want to have anybody with that kind of handy cam, you know, moving all around sort of feel. Um, anything you can do to, to just make it um, a little bit more professional, you know, maybe a few lights, maybe bounce you know, take, take a lamp. If you have a tabletop lamp, just point it at the wall and then it'll bounce the light back onto you for slightly better lighting. That is literally what I am doing right now. <laughs> so. Avery, thanks so much. Great tips for us. Um, enjoy your home office. Thanks for sharing it with us. You bet.